Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a video a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a spring glowy makeup tutorial, but I'm using natural light and that's it. So no studio lights, no ring lights, nothing like that. I typically film in my studio where I can film any time of day. I recently got another camera so I can have my studio set up that I don't touch and then I can move this camera wherever I need to and maybe do more videos like this if you guys enjoy it, just sitting in front of a window doing my makeup. So let me know your thoughts down below. This video is kindly sponsored by YSL Beauty, which I'm super excited about. They've expanded the shade range on two of their hero products, so we're gonna talk about that today. So we're gonna do a spring makeup tutorial using all YSL Beauty products. When I think of the brand, I think Think of beautiful, effortless, glowing skin, hydrated, juicy lips, and that's what I'm gonna go for today. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe, and let's go ahead and begin. Complexion. Today I'm going to be using the Touche Claw All-in-One Glow. This is a medium coverage, a natural finish. It's dewy, but it lasts a long time. It's oil-free and it has an SPF of 23. I remember when this first came out, I did a first impressions on it and I was really shocked at how well it lasted. I'm going to be using the shade B40 today and I'm going to use a sponge to blend it in. You can use your fingers or a brush. So this is what my base is looking like. I've got a nice medium coverage, covered up everything that I didn't want peeking through, but still looks like skin. It has a really nice natural finish. It looks dewy and hydrated, but it's not oily, greasy, slipping around. And this one lasts quite well, which is what I like about it. To highlight the face, I'm gonna be using the cult favorite Touche Clock Concealer. This is a hero product for YSL Beauty. They just released more shades of this, so they extended the shade range. You can get them at Sephora. I will link them down below. So this is such a unique product because it's so multi-use. You can use it to brighten under your eyes, highlight the center of your face, clean up your winged liner, clean up your lip line under your brows. What makes this special is it's very creamy and light, so you can use it all over the face if you'd like. It also has a radiant finish without having shimmer. So there's no glitter, no chunky particles in there. Comes in a pen form like this. Now I have the shade 2.5. So I've zoomed you in a bit and I'm gonna use this to brighten the inner corner of my eye. Also to lift the outer corner of my eye. I'm also gonna apply some to my chin just to bring light to it. This seriously blends in a second. It's so creamy. You can use your fingers, you can use a sponge. It just melts into the skin. It's not heavy, but it gives you that brightening effect you're looking for. So I have a little bit of blueness under my eye here, so I'm just gonna really focus it in here. And it just blends effortlessly. I feel like if you're new to concealer or you just want an effortless product, maybe you don't like brushes and you just wanna use your finger, whatever the case may be, it's just really a foolproof product, but it brings that light and bright look to your under eyes or wherever you need it. It's also really nice to clean up around your lip line if maybe your lipstick has bled or your liquid lipstick or your lip liner is uneven. So we will be doing that as well. It's also quite a hydrating formula, so it's not gonna emphasize any lines or make you look dry and flaky under the eye, which is something else I think a lot of people look for, but it still gives you that brightening effect. So I will link the Touche Clock Concealer down below so you can check out all the new shades, and these are available at Sephora. So for the eyes, I'm actually gonna use a couture blush from YSL Beauty. This is in the shade 03 or Orange Perfector, and I'm gonna sweep this on my lids, sort of pulling it out, and then I'm gonna meet it with the blush when we apply it on the face as well. I feel like it's just gonna give us a really beautiful sun-kissed look. So I'm taking a little bit on a big brush. I'm not using really an eye brush, just any brush you have. And I'm sort of patting it, and then I'm gonna pull it out here. So it sort of sweeps out. And then you can take a more targeted brush, sort of tap and blend. So I'm gonna add 
some mascara to my lashes. I'm going to be using the Shock Volumizing Mascara. I actually really like this. I've been using it for the past week or so. It definitely gives me length and volume, but it doesn't get clumpy. It's pretty buildable. So now I'm gonna add some warmth to the face. I'm gonna go in with the YSL Beauty Bronzer in O2 Fire Opal, and I'm just gonna use this to add some warmth, some bronze to our skin. And then popping in to the same blush that we used on our eyes, I'm gonna sweep this towards the back of the cheek, and then I'm gonna sort of blend it into where the eye meets. There's something so beautiful about an orange blush. So I sort of want them to meet here. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit just over the bridge of my nose. Just kind of gives you that sun-kissed look. To add a little bit of glow, I want something soft, and this powder is gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful. This is the Touche Claw 3D All Over Glow in the shade Universal. This can be used as a finishing powder. It can also be used as a highlighter. I think I'm gonna use it more so as a highlighter. It has this beautiful sheen to it, but it's not chunky, glittery, anything like that. So I've been enjoying it more so as a highlighter, and it's soft enough that I can actually apply it to maybe my chin or my forehead, whereas a lot of highlighters are super glittery and you can't do that. So I just have been sort of blending it again pretty just generously because it's so soft, but you can see the radiance. It just gives us like really pretty sort of pink glow. Put a little bit up here. So now we're gonna move on to lips and finish off the look. I'm gonna use the YSL Beauty Lip Styler in the shade 20. And lately I've been having a hard time getting a perfect crisp line on the bottom of my lip line, so I'm gonna use a Touche Claw Concealer just because it's so easy to blend and apply it on the outer edges to really sharpen my lip line. And to finish off the lips, I'm gonna be using the Rouge Velupte Lipstick Balm. YSL Beauty just came out with a new Burning Chilies collection of colors. You guys, these colors are so beautiful. They're like burnt, nudes, a little bit of terracotta in there. This color I have here, 122, stood out to me. If you've never tried these, these are incredibly creamy and comfortable, almost like an oil on your lips. They just melt into your lips and give you that high shine finish. They have a ton of colors to choose from. This is like a staple product from YSL Beauty. The new collection of colors are so gorgeous for spring and summer coming up. They all have that beautiful kind of burnt spicy color to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the shade 122 on my lips. Another side note, these smell absolutely divine. Are you serious with how gorgeous this color is? Ooh, for summer and spring. This just makes your lips look so juicy and plump. It's so incredibly comfortable, and this color is stunning. So if you're interested in checking out the new shades, I will link them down below. These are available at Sephora. I didn't even mention how gorgeous the packaging is. Like, it's just stunning overall. Smells incredible, feels incredible. The colors are so beautiful. Now I think I'm gonna have to go back and get a couple more nudes. All right guys, here's my final look using all products from YSL Beauty. I love how the look came out. I just love how the bronzer and blush really blend and the lip just makes it pop. The skin looks hydrated, but it's not slipping and sliding. It's gonna last all day. Definitely check out the new shades of the Touche Clock Concealer. It's just so easy to work with and so multi-use. Blends like a dream. And the Rouge Volupe Shine, the colors are absolutely stunning. I feel like this lip made this look. It's just 
gorgeous gorgeous i have minimal base but the lips really make it pop and it gives me that burnt kind of spicy vibe i'm just I'm in love. So I will leave all the information and the products down below. Thank you again to YSL Beauty for sponsoring this video. If you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.